Let's discuss gravers. Many people only use their lathes for polishing pivots. Although it's important, it's not the primary function of the lathe. Turning with the use of gravers is the primary purpose in the use of a lathe. Use of the graver in clock and watch repair requires a development of skill. Many don't know how to start. It's, easy, it's not easy to follow instructions out of a book. It must be learned, practiced, and developed as with any other skill. It takes practice and it takes patience to develop the skill. Too many people are afraid to use the graver because they don't have a way to be properly taught. It's very hard to develop a skill just from reading a book. One might say, if, if someone could show me I could get started and I could pick it up from there. Once you've mastered the skills, they will stay with you for life. It's like the old saying, it's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn, the knowledge stays with you for the rest of your life. Now let's look at these gravers. Now this graver is a typical tool graver that you would buy and it's about an eighth of an inch in the width and the length is about two and a half inches and this is a, what they call a high speed steel but we'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, this is a good size for learning and it's a common size and there are sw smaller sizes available that are used in watch repair. Uh, and the graver that you use must be a material that is harder than a material to be cut in order to be effective. Now we have different types of gravers like this one here. This is a round graver and if you look here it's, a, it's, it's round. It's not square like the other ones. And then we've got these gravers over here that I've that I have. These are called slotted or slotting or parting gravers. And these are not mine originally. I had bought these uh, a couple years back and I'm not really happy with the use of them. Uh, what works better for me as far as for a parting or slotting graver is to use a craft knife like this with a number 16 blade. Also another thing that about gravers is the type of handles that you use. Um, they call these a, a mushroom graver handle because it's shaped like a reminds you of a mushroom and some of them are mushroom shaped but they have a flat side in there and that's also because of the way, way you hold it in, in your hand. Now these are primarily meant to be hold, held into the palm of the hand and sometimes used for, for pushing the graver. Uh, I don't find them very comfortable. I don't uh, use them. It's not my preference. Uh, here's another one here. Uh, although this is nice, but it is kind of small and it's too small for me. It's like trying to write with a pen that's too small for your hand. Uh, this basically is a pin vise with a graver in it. Uh, you, can do, you can use a pin vise with a graver. Uh, I, that's not my, my preference. My preference is, uh, is to uh, have wooden handles. Like here's this type of plain wooden handle and here's one with a little metal collar at the top. And uh, I prefer the wooden handles because you have to uh, be able to hold it comfortably in your hand because some people use the graver in the palm of their hand and work work with it in this manner and some hold it like a pencil when they when they work so it's a matter of style but uh, most people tend to hold it like a like they're writing with their with their hand a writing style as, as they call it so this type of handle works actually both ways to be comfortable in, in working with the graver and when you buy the graver material they come in these lengths and you can also buy the handles separately and, and make your own and work